Welcome back. Argentina says it will sign deals to borrow $7.5 billion from China. These agreements come as Chinese President Xi continues his tour of South America. He arrived in Buenos Aires on Friday. Joel Richards is there live for us with all the details. Hi, Joel. Evening, Phil. And as you, as you mentioned, uh, the press conference between uh, the two presidents from Argentina and China just finished uh, a few moments ago. And as you said, very much talking about these uh, agreements, nearly 20 in total, most of them really uh, to do with infrastructure projects uh, with vast investment coming from China to help Argentina put those uh, in motion. This is only one of the second uh, trips or uh, visits from a Chinese president since Hu Jintao first came. Um, and so, of course, extremely important for Argentina. And in fact, the government here have been saying it's a, it's a visit and uh, agreements that are being signed of a transcendent importance. We've got um, nearly $5 billion being invested in, in two dams in Patagonia, which will help Argentina really, really boost its uh, energy production, as well as also revamping its uh, slightly ailing uh, railway uh, infrastructure. So uh, the two met at Casa Rosada, the presidential palace in Buenos Aires, uh, earlier this afternoon. Um, obviously, the, all the you know, protocol uh, that goes with a, a presidential meeting. Um, there's also talk of a currency swap in the region of $11 billion as well. So big boost for Argentina's uh, economy in that sense from, uh, from the visit of uh, President Xi Jinping, who's arriving here, having uh, been at the BRICS summit in Brazil uh, just obviously just a, a few days ago. Now, this uh, continues to develop then between Argentina and China, what is uh, said to be a strategic alliance. It's now 10 years since, uh, since these two countries have become increasingly close with ties that have political and economic importance. And, uh, and Phil, just uh, um, historically, Argentina's traded mostly with US and with Europe. But since 2010, we've seen that now Argentina exports primarily uh, to Asia and, of course, uh, to China. It's been 10 years since Argentina and China first signed a strategic alliance, which has now continued to strengthen both their economies and trade. The arrival of China's President Xi Jinping in Buenos Aires consolidates that alliance and brings fresh investment to key areas in Argentina. With more than $2 billion of financing, China is providing trains and materials for Argentina to revamp its ailing railway service. And there's also investment in other key infrastructure projects. Argentina is in a partnership with China in the making of an energy project here in Argentina. Chinese companies put some money and Argentina puts some knowledge in it and will operate this, this energy venture in the south of the country. China will loan Argentina nearly $5 billion for the construction of two hydroelectric dams in Patagonia, which will bolster Argentina's energy production. The project will take the name of Jorge Sepernik, a former governor, but also Nestor Kirchner, the late former president who promoted the special alliance with China back in 2004. Chinese investment and trade with Argentina is in many sectors and with one of the largest shale oil and gas reserves in the world and also as one of the main soy producers, Argentina has much to offer. A comienzo de la década del 90, China era exportador de granos de soja y exportador de petróleo crudo. At the start of the 1990s, China exported soy and oil. Now it doesn't have enough to supply its own demand and is the main importer of those items. So Argentina is the third most important for not only soy, but also soy derivatives, and China is the main client. The relationship between Argentina and China continues to grow. In 2013, trade between the two reached $15 billion. This state visit continues to develop a partnership that stretches across sectors such as energy, agriculture and banking, sectors that are vital for both countries. Joe, at the, uh, the BRICS summit earlier, there was quite a bit of chatter, actually, about whether or not Argentina might be the, the sixth brick, if you will. What have you learned? That's right, Phil. Well, obviously, Argentina was one of the guests of honor uh, at the, uh, the BRICS summit in Brazil. And uh, President Xi Jinping is obviously here in Buenos Aires now. And just a few days ago, Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, 
was here as well. So it certainly seems that there is movement in that direction. Argentina very open to finding new sources of, of credit and, uh, and obviously uh, uh, for political alliances as well. Uh, let's not forget that when it comes to the economy, Argentina still has this uh, issue with the holdouts that it's dealing with. Uh, Argentina has managed to settle with Repsol and the Paris Club, but still has a number of issues with its economy. So, uh, so the, the notion of this uh, BRICS investment bank, uh, obviously very attractive to Argentina. Uh, in that video just a few moments ago, we heard from Nicolas Tedesuca, a political analyst from Argentina, and I asked him uh, what he also thought about a possible invitation for Argentina to join the BRICS. I think that if Argentina and other South American or Latin American countries are invited to the BRICS meeting, uh, it would be good news for the whole region and uh, Latin America as a whole will gain uh, more strength in the geopolitical scene. So, uh, I, I don't see it just as an Argentinian issue, but of South America, Latin America being even more important, which I think it's good for a region which has been not that prominent in the last decade. Not a very good news for uh, the United States. You have to think that in the Western Hemisphere here in, in, in the American continent, the uh, United States has uh, a very uh, high profile geopolitical role. If Argentina joins the BRICS, for example, this will, will mean that Argentina and Brazil are, are taking steps to get closer to China and Russia, trying to put some more balance in world power. So nothing set in stone just yet, but as we mentioned, certainly with the visit of Xi Jinping to meet with Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner and Vladimir Putin being here recently as well, it seems that there is movement in that direction, whether or not Argentina becomes a full member of BRICS or is uh, merely a, a close ally remains to be seen, but certainly Argentina uh, are very, uh, certainly very happy to be involved and to have been invited to that BRICS summit. Back to you now, Phil.